friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on WW Personal Points. Happy Saturday, it is Saturday, so it's grocery haul day. Today's grocery haul is a little bit different, but we still have lots of fun stuff in today's haul. So if you're excited, give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not, because I upload a grocery haul every Saturday in five videos per week. Check out the description box down below for nutrition coaching. I can't recommend enough calories and macros personalized to you. That is how I've lost over 125 pounds, and I have one-on-one -on -one coaching if you would like to chat with me directly. Links, discounts to my favorite things, and come join our Facebook group. We would love to have you. So let's jump in to the grocery haul. So here is my grocery haul for the week. When you guys are seeing this video, I'm actually in Hawaii. So most of what I picked up for this week is for Troy so that he has some food on hand. I went to Walmart and then I hit up the Dollar Tree because let's be real, I am all about decorating for fall and Halloween and I need quite a bit of extra Halloween stuff to decorate my background for my videos. So I had a lot of fun looking at Halloween and fall at both Walmart and the Dollar Tree. What is not shown is a case of Coors Light, some Diet Coke, and Troy's traditional prune juice. So the first thing I picked up for him were some frozen pizzas. That way this is a quick, easy lunch or dinner. He really likes the thin crust. He prefers this one from Sam's Choice. I have bought him a bunch of pizzas and honestly this one's his favorite and they're only about six bucks a piece. So I picked up a Bacon Lovers and a pepperoni pizza. And then I did go ahead and get one of the Great Value Supreme Pizza because it's thin crust also. And that will give him quite a few frozen pizza options. I also picked up some more English muffins for him he's been having breakfast sandwiches with ham cheese and an English muffin and he only had one pack left so I grabbed one more just in case I grabbed a big block of cheese this is for his breakfast sandwiches and then of course he does like to have his meat cheese and crackers as well I definitely you know me and my pumpkin addiction I saw that light and fit from Dannon has pumpkin pie yogurt I think I've tried this before and it's really really good so I only got one and I'm probably going to have it today before I head out to Hawaii tomorrow I'm currently filming today's video video on Wednesday. And then I grabbed the other Gilbert sausage that I haven't tried. So I tried the Aloha and the sun-dried tomato. This one is the bourbon apple. It sounds so good. I love having these on hand. The easiest, quickest lunch or dinner. So I'll save these until I get back from my trip and we'll try them in a what I eat in a day. And then I decided for me to grab some of the Kerrygold Pure Irish Butter. I wanted the spread, not the actual sticks of butter. I am trying to stay away from light butter other than if I'm making it in a recipe. Troy likes the light butter, but I went ahead and grabbed just regular butter for me. A couple packs of Idahoan instant mashed potatoes. Troy can make those super, super easy if he wants potatoes while I'm gone. I also grabbed some sugar-free vanilla pudding. It just sounded good. And I thought that I could fall this up with some pumpkin something and make it be a fun dessert. Now, someone in my Facebook group shared these granola bars and said that they were really, really good. So I picked them up. I'm gonna take a few of them with me on my trip. These are from the brand Ready Clean. These are protein bars with 15 grams of protein, seven grams of fiber, and whole grains. I grabbed the chocolate peanut butter. They do have 200 calories per bar, but they have 15 grams of protein. There's five bars in here and it was like 570. So not inexpensive. I'm hoping they're as good as she said they are and they'll be great to take with me traveling. A gallon of milk for Troy and then also some ketchup. We were almost out of ketchup and next time I go to Sam's Club, or Costco, I usually buy it there because it's way less expensive, but just in case he needs it while I'm gone. Big, huge smoked ham for him. This was $21. When did ham become so expensive? The good thing about it is it is pre-sliced and ready to go, and this is what he uses on his breakfast sandwiches. He also asked for some blueberry muffins. These actually look really, really good. So I grabbed this fun little four pack from the bakery, and then I saw this. One of my coaching clients told me this is amazing, so I had to pick it up. I think I'm actually gonna throw it in the freezer, and then again, and we'll try it into what I eat in a day when I get back. This is the Thomas Swirl Limited Edition Pumpkin Spice Bread. Oh my gosh, yum. 100 calories per slice. I thought that would be 
really fun for breakfast paired with some eggs and some fruit. You know, make it a well-rounded breakfast, but still enjoy all the fall feels. I love having these with the shredded chicken from Sprouts, and we've been eating that for dinner lately, so I went ahead and grabbed a big pack. I know Troy will finish that while I'm gone. And then I did decide to pick up some mac and cheese for him as well. I've bought this in the past, and he liked it, so that'll be a quick, easy side for him. And then, like I mentioned, I stopped over in the fall slash Halloween section, and I thought this little farm fresh pumpkin sign is so adorable. It was $2.24 at Walmart. Super, super cute. And then this creepy fabric. I'm going to drape that actually over that little table right there when I decorate for Halloween. It was $2.98. And then this is so cute. I couldn't pass it up. I really don't need any more fall decorations, but I mean, it's adorable. It was less than $5 for, for $4.34, and it has kind of this burlap sweater material on it with this little jute bow, so cute, and it says thankful. And then for my office, they have three of these little tea light holders. I don't know if I'll actually put tea lights in them or if I'll just put them on my bookshelves in my background, but there was a cat, a little jack-o'-lantern, and a super cute ghost. And then they had their little orange and black tea light, so I picked these up. I like to have these for when we carve pumpkins, and if I do decide to put candles in these, I'll have those tea lights on hand. And then lastly at Walmart, for $4, I got these denim shorts. These are Junior's denim shorts. They, they do have that rough edge on them, and I thought, you know, $4 for shorts, since I live in Arizona, we can wear shorts almost year round, so I couldn't pass those up. So that is everything from Walmart. Let's hop into what I picked up at the Dollar Tree. So first thing is this little lantern. If you didn't know, the Dollar Tree has a Dollar Tree Plus section now. So everything's like three to five dollars. So this lantern was actually five dollars. It does light up. We used to have one of these in our old house in Washington, and it broke when we were when I was packing to move. So I grabbed this one. It's super cute. It comes with the candle and it works. I double checked that. And then also this cute little sign. It is a tin sign. One side of it says eek and the other side of it says boo. I thought that was so cute and it was three dollars and then these little signs too for in my office this one says tis the season to be spooky and then this one says trick or treat these were a dollar 25 a piece if you didn't know the dollar tree is now the dollar 25 tree so everything's a dollar 25 and i thought these would be just really cute to just help decorate for halloween i also grabbed some dog treats i never buy dog treats at the dollar tree because they're usually really weird brands with really weird ingredients but i actually checked these and these have really good ingredients. They are made in the USA. $1.25 a bag. I thought my dogs could try them. They're from the brand Foppers Gourmet Pet Bakery and it says made with love and care, oven baked, fresh treats, no fillers or byproducts and food safety certified. So I thought that they could try those out. My dogs will pretty much eat all treats. I did pick up another pair of my all time favorite lashes. If you love lashes, do not sleep on these at the Dollar Tree. These are like 20 to $25 lashes for $1.25. I love them, I wear them all the time. Two little Crest mouthwash for my trip to Hawaii. I wanted a bigger one, not a big bottle, but the medium sized bottle. They were really low on almost everything. It was really weird, really, really weird. But they did have these really small Crests, so I picked up two. And then they have some new LA Colors product. I have done quite a few Dollar Tree full face and makeup on my beauty channel. I will link my beauty channel down below for you. I do lots of tutorials and things there, but they have these fun colored liners. So I grabbed the green, the purple, and the white. I love to put these in my waterline just for a little bit of color. Some little antibacterial travel wipes. I keep these in my car. And lastly, I always buy cards, note cards, everything at the Dollar Tree. These are blank inside. We have flowers, a cute little high-heeled shoe, and then one that says hi. I use these whenever I do giveaways or send out goodie bags in my paid Facebook group. I like to put a little handwritten card in there. So I grabbed three packs. So that is everything that I picked up from Dollar Tree and from Walmart. There is not a meal plan or meal prep this week. I will be back to my normal filming when I return from my trip. Thank you for joining me for this week's grocery haul. I hope you enjoyed seeing everything I picked up at Walmart, all the fun Halloween stuff I picked up, a little Dollar Tree haul. If you enjoyed it, give it a big thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed and your bell's turned on because I do grocery hauls every Saturday and again, five videos every single week. Check out that description box for nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things, and of course, come on over 
join my Facebook group. We'd love to have you. Thank you for watching friends. Happy Saturday, happy weekend, and I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Bye.